I used to really wonder a few years ago that if you had like 50,000 people at a marathon, one place, one time, like what could you do? How could you push things forward? If there's this much excitement about running, could it heal our communities? Could it create connections? What's the idea of, you know, sort of a cool social group that's like lifestyle, but then also has performance goals. The two aren't mutually exclusive. You don't find them coexisting in the same space very much. Both are really hard to maintain in equal measure. Therein lies the challenge. I started Black Roses because I don't believe in mutual exclusivity. I don't believe that staying out all night or acting wild doesn't mean you can't run a great marathon or create great works of art or whatever. I'm trying to like figure out how all those spaces can, can work together. I think some of the resonance of the work I'm doing is that it's just ideas. People want to attack it and they can't find it or people want to celebrate it or embrace it, and they have to find it within themselves. So you can't buy it, you can't co-opt it, you can't claim it if it's not there, because it just disappears like in your hands and when you grab it. But if it takes up residence in your soul, then you have it within you, you know, wherever you go. Running a 259 marathon doesn't make your parents or your kids or your partner love you anymore, or less. On the other hand, if you have a goal or you meet a challenge and you work with the challenge and you work through the challenge, the feeling of that sets into your soul, like seeps into your bones, and it changes the way you think about yourself and the world, and that's different. Honestly, yeah, you can tell somebody to do all the workouts, and even if they do all the workouts, they still have to run the race themselves. 259 Marathon ain't, doesn't change how you feel about the world, but doing the work to prepare for that changes you.